Hey, what's up, family? Today we back in the studio with another banger, and this one we're gonna go over my favorite releases for February. I know we're in this bitch already, but hey, there's still gonna be some heat releasing, and I wanna talk about it with y'all. If y'all enjoy sneaker or streetwear content, make sure you leave a like and subscribe to the channel. It definitely helps a lot. Leave a like, cause we're trying to beat the algorithm, you feel me? But with all that being said, let's get straight into this video. So for this one, honestly, I'ma go from the closest date that I thought was fire to the last dates at the end of the month obviously you feel me so at the very beginning we have the Ame Leon door new balances yes new balance has entered the chat you feel me I don't normally cover new balances but there's so many fire iterations that have been coming out that honestly it's inevitable at this point you kind of have to and this Ame Leon door cream and blue Shits is fire, bro. Honestly, if I could get my hands on these, this would probably be the first New Balance I get since I was a kid type shit. But apparently these released a little while ago. I don't know. It says restock, so I guess they dropped before. I don't know. I never seen this white and blue color. I've seen the beef and brocks, but I haven't seen the cream with the blue. Honestly, I like the cream with the blue more. But yeah, that was the first pair. Second, we got the Union Dunks releasing on the 11th. If that's true, bro, that's gonna be a pack day because i feel like these union dunks are gonna be one of the better sneakers releasing this year i know it's kind of soon to talk about that but i feel like the execution on this pair just looks clean there's three different colorways one of them being more limited to the union site if i'm not mistaken i feel like it's gonna be a sneaker that people talk about as the year progresses and the more dunks we see the more these will get brought up trust me i feel like it's a clean color this is the only one that we're seeing that's releasing this month so i'm curious to see what they're gonna do with the two other colorways we might never know low key i know it's confirmed that one of them is not releasing to everybody but i don't know what they doing with that other pair you know february 12th we have the racer blue jordan 5s honestly bruh this new shape that they did on the jordan 5 isn't my favorite so i'm probably gonna go to the older pairs that i couldn't grab in the past and gravitate towards those versus these i feel like it's a clean color that cut around the front of the sneaker front panel is just too much for me if they did that 2012 11 jordan 5 silhouette to these i feel like it would be way better but it just makes the sneaker look big as fuck that's literally why I sold my Raging Bulls. So I'm staying away from Jordan 5s. I could kind of scope out which ones look better. And this bitch right here, it's a naw for me, dog. If y'all like these, hey, more power to you. I feel like all these are possible contenders. This one isn't for me. On the 14th of February, we have these red Yeezy 350 V2s in the concept compact. The slate red shits, the red October looking ass. I don't know how I feel about these, bro. They're all red, normal when it comes to Yeezy but I don't like the design on this. Honestly, I think it's kind of ass. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. This isn't something that I would wear on my feet. It looks like it's some comfortable ass shit, but that's kind of expected. I don't know, bro. That pattern around the top isn't doing it for me. It almost reminds me of the Alien 380s. I didn't really like those that much, so I'm probably gonna skip on these bitches as well. This next sneaker I've spoken about way too many fucking times, but I have to talk about it because it's actually releasing finally, and it's the Dark Marina Jordan 1s. There's a review on the channel. These are cool. At this point, I just want to try to go ahead and get them for retail, but they are releasing on the 16th of February, which at this point is in two weeks. Hey, this is probably one of the better releases for the month, so keep your eyes peeled for this one. As time goes on, it's going to be worth something. Right now, it's actually going for a pretty decent amount. I think it's like at 220 230 if I'm not mistaken, and these are going to go up. It's almost like the Royals. We've already spoken about this before. Clean pair of sneakers, though. February 16th. On February 17th, we got the Siempre Familia Dunk Lows. These basically have like this camo, like this tribal vibe going to it. It might be a little bit too much for my feet. Like I don't really wear shit that's this loud. It has too much shit going on. It has like an almost snake skin on the toe box with like some camo around the front. You got like a multicolor swoosh and then you got a lizard on the back. I like it just because it's an SB. That's what SB is known for, the whole theme sneaker shit. 
shit. But will I wear these? I'm not gonna sit here and lie to y'all and say yes. I don't think I would even try to go for these if I did. It's probably for a trade up type shit or to resell them. I'm just being honest, bro. February 17th, if you're interested in the Siempre Familias, I feel like it's a clean sneaker. I just can't see myself wearing it. It's a little bit too loud for my style. On the 19th, there's the Jordan 3 Cardinals. Bruh, just give me the fire reds and I'm good. I don't really need these. Just retro the Cardinal 7s. Keep it pimping, bro. We don't need these new colorways. I understand they look clean. It's cool. They got to innovate, renovate, all that shit, right? But I don't really need these. I feel like it's a Jordan 3. I could pass by type shit. Like, I'm trying to get some fire reds. I need some white cement. I need a new pair of true blues because my shit's is chewed slight bars. Honestly, if you're thinking about resell for threes, I wouldn't even go there. I feel like as far as Jordans go, ones and fours are killing it. 11s typically do good. And there's certain colorways for threes, like obviously black cement and shit like that, that will do better. As far as general releases, I don't really think so, bro. Like cool grays are probably still going for the low. Correct me if I'm wrong. Personally, I'm going to skip on these. I would prefer that multi camo one that they dropped like in December. I missed it and I feel like those are actually hard. I don't know what number we on, but on the 24th of February, we got the blank canvas Jordan 4s. It's basically this all cream Jordan 4 and it's a women exclusive. All I could really see on these besides the cream color is the fact that some of the parts at the bottom of the sneaker have a little bit of red and a little bit of blue. I think it's cool the fact that they're basically inspiring people to draw on the sneaker or just play with it a little bit. The whole blank canvas thing is cool. But the only thing I see when I look at this blank canvas cream Jordan 4 is the off-white Jordan 4s, bro. The sales. I don't need these. This is going to make me want those even more. So I'm not even going to do this to myself. Like, rest in peace, Virgil. That man was a legend. This is cool. It's not even comparable, bro. Like, it's cool for what it is type shit. And February 24th, if you're interested. But I'm honestly going to pass on them shits. So we got a couple more sneakers to talk about. If you're enjoying this video, leave a like on it and subscribe for more content like this. Let me know what y'all would like to see down below. But next up on the 26th of February, we got the Jordan 1 Brotherhoods. These are basically, I don't know what the fuck they're supposed to be. It's almost like a burgundy with like some orangey yellowish gold. People are saying that this is going to be a beautiful Jordan 1 in hand. I'm honestly interested in seeing what that purplish fuchsia looking plum color looks like in person. If it looks like a soft plum, this is a clean sneaker. But if that shit comes off like a strong purple, it might be a little bit OD. I just got to see it in hand type shit. It's one of those. On the color code, it says light Bordeaux. So it's a chance that this shoe might be a banger. I'm excited to see some reviews on it. Low key after I film this video, I'm probably going to look up some reviews on it. But the Brotherhood Jordan 1, February 26th, I feel like this one is going to do good simply because it's almost like that shattered backboard color blocking with some different colors that we don't normally see on a Jordan 1. And that's hard to say because we've been getting Jordan 1s shoved down your throat like at this point they drop every other week if not every week there's lows mids there's highs there's the zooms there's the comforts bruh they be wilding but these are actually not that bad and they're the og style to it definitely solid so the last official release for February that I have on this list is the Dazzling Blue Yeezy 350 V2s. We've spoken about these a couple times on the channel. They're cool. It's the same striped V2s that we saw with the Oreos, red stripes, olive ones. I feel like there's a lot of cool OG 350 V2s with this same style on it. It's kind of late for him to release it now, but I see why he's doing it. And hey, if you're trying to get your hands on a black and blue Yeezy 350, this is for you right here on February 26th. I feel like it's a solid color compared to some of the other ones that he's released recently this is one of the better ones let me know what y'all think that's the last official release for february we were supposed to get the playoff jordan 12s but apparently they pushed them back to march which i don't have an issue with that there's a couple releases that i do want to get this month so it's kind of good that they push those back i do love jordan 12s if you guys don't know this is my second pair of nubuck 12s and low-key they're cracking on me bro this is one of my favorite shoes in my collection second time i've owned this shoe i just love the baby blue on it with all the black the suede is beautiful like show some love to 12s bro i'm definitely gonna be going for the playoff 12s they just look clean super 
clean. But yeah, man, that pretty much does it for this video. If y'all enjoyed this one, I was just trying to shed some light on some releases for February. If you guys have any content ideas, let me know in the comments below. Leave a like, subscribe for more content. And with all that being said, I'm going to catch y'all on the next one. Peace, stay up, and I'm out.